the last of the roofing materials. <laughs> I just want to point out that we are almost complete with this roof. This pile was a lot higher when I first got here. Can I just point that out? <sighs> May I also add that when you have these larger properties, maintaining the grass, maintaining the grass is a Okay. What the hell did you just say? Um, many of you guys may know or some of you may not know um, this is my first luxury house investment first luxury I've done um, many 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 how do you say um, smaller ones twos and three families um, but this is my very first luxury one family meaning um, over 500,000 closer to the one million dollar range um, and yes, my dear, it is not as easy as it looks. Um, there have been quite some challenges. But before we get into that, don't forget, go down there at the link and subscribe to my channel, The Current Chronicles. Or else how will you get to see me in my madness every day? Back to the nightmare that I'm speaking. It's not a nightmare because this house is my baby. She's huge. She's over 4,000. Yes, it's a she. She's over 4,000 square feet, and this woman has come with some challenges, okay? Um, so, I'm on my way to the house right now. Money is time, and I need several things completed in this property before Monday. So, I had to make a little stop at the banky bank. Just gotta pay a couple people some dollars. That's all I need to say. I'm rich, bitch! Um, so with that being said, as I count this money to make sure that I have a certain amount in my hand, um, hang tight. Uh, we're getting ready to go in here and see what's up. Hang on to your panties, because Lord knows if I get another bill in this house, you guys are going to be hanging on to mine. No! Hell no! 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 I refuse! No! That may be the electrician's car. Let's go through. The last time you guys were here, nothing was done. I don't even remember showing you the framing, but um, we've got a nice dumpster here that gets emptied out literally every three days. As you can see, loads of stuff that have come from this house. The roof on the garage is completely finished, as you can see just have to do the exterior and the doors now some of the many challenges as you can see with all of these cement pieces in this garage is we pulled out um so far probably over 15 tons of concrete cement between the floors the walls the basement this house was built to sustain an earthquake and a hurricane and it's going to be um, fortified the same way however not with all the cement again as you can see that is like all of the cement that still needs to be put in a dumpster that has to be loaded I mean tons of cement came out of this house tons so Once the roof is complete, we're gonna start on the exterior of the house. Yay, exciting, because I have got some exciting stuff going on with the exterior. As you can see, I just have to zoom up there for you people. Half of the roof is finished. And if I show you from the other side, just stuck underneath these trees, boop, boop, boop. So we got, 
have a roof that is done. And if you look from this side, way up yonder, that other part has to be completely all the way to the front. So let's go in the house. So I can show you guys some progress, okay? All of that is gonna be removed and replaced with a beautiful deck. Um, yes. Don't try me, because this place is lit with security. I'm just playing, but don't try me. I have like eight cameras. Hold on, check me, boo. This is my wonderful electrician. He's the best. This, this I would recommend you to anyone. You know that. Now, could you tell everyone what we're left with doing? We're almost 90% complete, darling. Electric is my passion for 35 years now. Yes. yes for tell Ghana them. and also, also over here. That is the only thing I know to do. And I love doing it. That's the wind. So. There's no ghost here. <laughs> All right, so we're 90% done in here. You're yeah. finishing up connecting yeah. what you got to connect, and then we'll be done. Yeah, by next week, I will try to do it. Now I'm doing the cutting. You have to cut it, make it ready for the special. That is what I'm doing right now. Right, because when you're done and when HVAC is done and when plumbing is done, I'm calling for inspections in this yeah. place. So, so I'm at hoping. Least, at least give us two weeks. I know plumbing will take a lot of... Don't rush them. No, no, no. Well, I want it to like, be done right, so I won't rush. Just give them like two weeks and I hope they will do a good job. I'm praying. I'm praying. I hear we had to make a whole bunch of modifications for plumbing. Ay, uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna look around a little bit. You take your time, you do your thing. I'll be up there in a moment, sunshine. Okay, thank you. Yes, you are the best. This is part of the wonderful pantry. This area was really frustrating me. There's gonna be a bathroom back there. This is what we call in the kitchen. This too also frustrated me because the challenge was the space. But we made it work. We made it work. As I was trying to show you guys, that is the kitchen. It was a challenge to work within the space because as you know, luxury homes require a large kitchen presence. Um, let me stand out of the way. Luxury homes require a large kitchen presence. Um, they require a huge island, beautiful stainless steel appliances, beautiful cabinets. Um, all of that good stuff in order to um, sell a home successfully over well over half a million dollars. So the kitchen was a challenge for a while to get everything nailed down that I wanted. But I did get my wine cellar, which will be back there. That will be the wine cellar, which was the old exit for the deck. Um, the deck is being moved. Um, here we have our family room and all this stuff is framed out. That is our um, living room, all that good stuff, dining room. Everything is beautiful. Of course, the floors aren't done. You can see right upstairs, but as my electrician was telling you, we are about 90% done with the electrical. Um, I will save the upstairs for later. Um, that will be a surprise, folks, um, because he's working up there and I do not want to get in his way. Um, wonder if I can take you to the basement to show you all the challenges over there. I'm gonna go around and see if I can show you guys the basement. I love that guy, he's such a hard worker. It is late, it is almost six o'clock. He's still working. There's something to be said for hard workers such as him and myself. Um, my general contractor literally just left out of here. He was covered in dust. So his phone died, so I shall see him in the morning. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys one of the major challenges I've had this week in the basement. Um, if you're from the Northern Jersey area, as you know, we've experienced a lot of rain and with the roof not being completed um let's just say wet heads um the basement had to be sealed which was something we didn't anticipate um 
we're not you know majorly over budget we're definitely over budget and we're trying to um, keep that within a forty thousand dollar range because um, with these renovations with these luxury homes the over budget can kill your pocket and your bottom line so let's see if i can take you guys Ooh, this door is a heavy door good lord that's how you know this house is old the door itself is like 40 pounds okay um i know that let me see basement door lock. do i have the key let's see this house has so many original keys shut up and see if i actually have the key for the basement Hmm. No? That's not the key. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. That ain't the key. Let's see, this is the key. Well, darlings, I may not be able to show you the basement. It doesn't look like I have the key. It's not something. I got a good contractor because you made sure that you can't get in this bad boy. Mm. Well, there goes that for now. Looks like I'll have to come back tomorrow. Well, darlings, my contractor has locked up with a new key. So it looks like I'll have to come back tomorrow and show you guys that. Um, so I'm sorry that our journey has ended a little bit early, uh, but if you subscribe to Corinne Chronicles, that link right below you, the journey doesn't have to end. It never has to end. So come back. I will be showing you guys the progress as we wrap up this house and get ready to sell it. My first luxury home, come on this journey with me. I appreciate you and I look forward to seeing you soon. And as always, till later guys, bye.